Yeah. So these are all like the outdoor stuff. All right, let's see. Oh, they actually changed up the setup too. Oh, I'm sure. A lot more stuff. Yeah. Well, we can. Welcome, to my garden. Oh, welcome. welcome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> grew, grew it all from uh, you know seed. These are actually pretty healthy too. Ninety bucks. Uh, for the bird of paradise, but there's two of them there, which is not bad. So let me know if you see the quality difference, because I could already tell the quality difference in the videos. My yeah. <laughs> yeah, both, both. What do you mean? That is a try to scan to you. I've never seen that. Nice baskets though. Mm -hmm. The variegated. Ninety dollars for the big one, big palm. Twenty-five percent off indoor plants. Wow, and blooming tropicals. Yes, I like the ones that are oh, like that, like trees. Mm. That's Mama's a lot of those in her backyard. And it has the braided trunk. Pretty cool. How much okay. are these? I don't know if it says. Nine dollars. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> the small ones are nine dollars. <laughs> the pizza leaves are. It's actually really nice that like this time of the year they have sales. So thirty dollars. So but they're nice and big, mm -hmm. and look healthy. Besides the flowers, because the flowers are probably almost done. Do you like record audio after? No, I'm recording now so they can hear us. <laughs> They're just hanging out with us. Perfect. Yeah. Hello. Hi. <laughs> it's the first time my friend's uh, hanging out with me while I record. Try not to be awkward, you know. I think these are all... Oh, this is lavender. $8. Save $2.50. What these guys? Those are pretty. I don't know. What kind of... I like the change in color. They're actually nice colors. Can you see that? Wow. Very nice. I'm also not used to holding such a small camera. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna drop it. Oh, these trees are nice too. I like how the... They look colorful. Yeah, it's like a nice time to come because everything's just blooming. Looks very pretty and colorful. So there's a few more here in the back. Let's see some of the bigger plants back here. Smaller bird of paradise for 47. I mean, the price is a little more than last year, I would say. Like if you watch my videos from last year shopping versus now, so you could definitely tell a difference, but they're in really good condition, I would say. So you have the Crotons, $27. They're pretty full as well. Very colorful. And usually the house plants are in that section over there. So we'll go around. Obviously a bunch of pots and planters. <clears throat> I like the barrel style. Looks rustic. Oh, that is plant perk foliage. I don't know. This pink one. Very vibrant. Holy moly. Snake plants, 36, but they are quite tall and there's probably three, four, five plants in one pot. Hibiscus, more with flowers. Let's see if I can focus. The color's so vibrant that the camera's kind of like having a hard time focusing on it. 
Do they smell? They smell kind of like weird almost, but they are, do smell good. Yeah, they do, right? Wow. <clears throat> I have not been here since last year. I posted a video from here before. Um, I think it was with another friend of mine. Um, this is the money trees. Look at how thick this is. Wow. That's so cool how they breed like that. Yeah. These are 50 bucks. Actually, that's not bad at all, I think. Considering that there's so many. Uh, or like the braid's actually quite thick. There's a few Monstera, of course. There may be a few more in the actual garden center though. We have some <laughs> planters <laughs> with our model, modeling the plants. Is this Cebu Blue? Because Cebu Blue is bluer, but obviously, but I do see a couple with fenestrations. That's the one thing that's frustrating is that they don't always have the names, but for $19, if that's a Cebu Blue, that's actually a really good deal. There's this one that's like hanging already. Beautiful. Is it a Sable Blue? They just don't look as blue, obviously, hence the name. You have a Syngonium. Also 19. Oh wow, this is actually pretty uh, mature. You can tell by the lobes there. Wow. Very pretty. Pink's not really my color, but it's okay. I actually wish I knew if that was... But I guess I won't really know because it always has foliage. No way, it has foliage. <laughs> okay. And then this is the inside of the actual greenhouse. Oh, it's gonna get hot in here. I can really, I can anticipate myself getting sweaty. <laughs> Spray. Not gonna lie, they have less this year, for sure. Oh, that's actually, that's a nice raised garden bed mm -hmm. for like a balcony. Or snake plant? Yeah. Always. They're probably the easiest to keep alive in these places. Look at these cactus. What the oh, heck? Oh, they're so cute. Look at them. Look at all the Look colors. The one. Wow. I'm not a cacti person, succulent person, but you know, I can appreciate when they look nice and... Yeah, they're about four bucks each. Yeah. It looks like it has hands. <laughs> oh wow, look at these. There is a lot of Alocasia Regal Shield. I would say they're all in really good condition. How much are they though? 60 bucks? 60 bucks and I think it's like a 10 inch pot, I would say. But all the new foliage is really healthy, so. I usually only see a few of them that may be in good condition. Oh, look, what I just found. Oh. Someone just had it here, like this. <laughs> so cute. Okay, I'm gonna keep it so the next person can find it. <laughs> or keep it there, I'm not gonna keep it to myself. Let's see. 
Uh, this is a Dracenia. Very good one. $11, $12. Not too bad. Peperomia right there. More succulents. Uh, with, oh, $10 says right there. These look kind of cute. Yeah, Coral cute. reef. They're already, we're already trailing. I have to like get used to the focus on it too. Oh, these guys look very sad. <laughs> Let's see over here. There's more hanging. Um, turtle vine. I would say I like the uh, pot as well. Oh yeah, that's so cute. Nice pot. Very nice. Nice combo. I probably would get it just for the pot. <laughs> <laughs> and then just gift the plant. They have a cute setup over there with the fountains. We'll go there in a second. You like? Yeah, I like the colors. They're so vibrant. Mm -hmm. Oh, you have syndapsis. Actually, this is really nice. I love how silver it is. How much is this one? 12 bucks. Ooh. I'm a sucker for vining plants, trailing plant plants. But look how silvery it is. I think this is the silver Anne or the Argyrus. That's beautiful. I, I just don't like how they always have just like foliage. It's like, yes. Tropical. Yes. <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> Ivy. Not too sure how much that one is. I'll also go around and take some pictures too. This guy. Dwarf Japanese fern. It's kind of pretty. It almost looks like uh, the fishtail Hoya. Interesting. I'm speaking my language. <laughs> yes. He's looking a bit sad. Yeah, I think it needs water. I still can't believe I've been able to keep my three orchids alive. Wow. I know. It's been two or three years now. This is going to be the third summer, I think. Pretty good. Yeah, these ones are $21, not a bad price. And they have two, some of them have two plant, oh, two mm -hmm. uh, stems already. That's a good deal. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. And I like how they have this set up here. Super nice, yeah. I would love a fountain in the backyard, just kind of, you know, hear it in the background. Ooh, I like these little hanging planters. What is this? Oh, is this a variegated uh, lipstick plant? I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if the camera's gonna catch it. Do you see that right there? A little bit of variegation. These are actually really nice. I mean, they're heavy for sure. Do we have a price on this somewhere? Uh, about 30 bucks. That's actually very full. $30. Ooh, I like this one. I think this is the Argyrus. And that one's 30 bucks too. Ooh. Oh. I didn't break anything, I promise. <laughs> Slow motion that. <laughs> Anyways, this is why you can't take me anywhere. 
Why? How did that break though? Okay, well, I'm gonna have to pause for a second because I think I have to fix that. Alright, sorry, I had to pause for a second because I need to uh, fix the hanger here. So we figured it out that the bottom part you hang and then this one I'm assuming you hang off of your ceiling or off of like a porch or whatever. So if you have a screw that goes into the uh, roof or whatever or the ceiling and then you can hang that off there. But I'm debating on whether or not I should, because I do have a Syndapsis Argyris um, or a Silver Yam. I think it's the Argyris, but it's not as big as this, that's for sure. And for $30, you get the full plant, you get the pot, and you get a hanger with it. So sounds like a good deal to me. So these are new. I did not see these last year, that's for sure. And this is the curly snake plant. I also appreciate how some of them, like this one right here, has a little tag that says durable and low maintenance. So, yeah. you know, if you're not really great with plants. Not know what to do, yeah. Does it have a name though? I think so, oh. in the other tag. Maybe. Easy plant. Yeah, so it also gives you the name that way if you aren't familiar with some of these plants At least you know, it's low maintenance and then they also give you the tag with the name So I do appreciate when they do that as opposed to like just say exotic plant or tropical plant and not a specific name um, Okay, so I'm debating on a plant that I may get but I'm just gonna show you the rest of this area Got some aloe over here. <laughs> some aloe. Yeah. But they're fake. They're fake. Yeah. So if you really don't know what to do with plants, <laughs> you can definitely get one of these. <laughs> All right. Because my goal is to make my videos more chill and not as edited. Like I want to be able to just have people enjoy seeing the plants uh look how colorful that is that one is at 12 dollars. so it looks like these are 12 dollars. that's a good price for a nice new plant mm -hmm. this is a happy bean it definitely looks like a bean yeah exactly uh <laughs> green beans right <laughs> So yeah, I'm thinking about getting one of these, but the one that's over on that shelf over there, just because it is more silver than these. Actually, I like this little... Yeah, because my watering can's not the greatest. It it uh, overflows and then it like it doesn't have a top part mm -hmm. so the water tends to like splash uh -huh. yeah, everywhere so. ponytail palm mm. these are super cute cool. yeah super low maintenance but they're nice to have like on a coffee table outside they're hardy you don't need to water them often super cute little tree you know give it a little touch of green in your space these ones quite red yeah, they all have pretty healthy leaves. Some of them look like they're more dried up than others, but Aglionema colored. <laughs> These are 30 bucks and they come with a pot. You have your little fiddly figs. That's something I still want to get is a nice big fiddly fig. Mm -hmm. Because the price has come down for them, but I haven't really found any that I would say I would want to get. Yeah, I feel like they go fast. I also love these little palms. Yeah, they are so cute. The They're bases the look really size. cool. Yeah, and also easy care, very easy care, mm -hmm. because a lot of the water is held in the trunk or in like the base part. Mm -hmm. $27 and it has a cute pot with it hmm. and then you have your fern some more alocasia regal shield 
I also feel like I'm out of the loop with like plants because since I don't use plant names as often anymore, I feel like I'm trying to remember all the archive names. <laughs> Another egg, Leonima, $30 at the pot. How about these guys? What are they called Is again? I forget what they're called. There's a lot of water in the middle. I don't know if that's normal. Let's see. Oh, this guy is cute too. It's just like the other pot for the other one. I like that. Yeah, that's super cute. Dragon fruit. I think I saw these at another Lowe's. We're at Rona. Rona and Lowe's are basically the same thing here in Canada. Um, but I think I saw Lowe's and they had a Monstera one. It was okay. super cute with that. Nice. And like, again, I'd probably just buy the plant for the pot. Well, the pot can cost sometimes, like, yeah, for sure. a lot of money. Okay, so I don't know if I should get this one. Because this one has a lot of silver at the top. But the bottoms are not the greatest. What if you trim them? Yeah, I could. If I trim it here, I just feel like the pot is so heavy, like it's pretty wet. Yeah, look, it's like dripping. Oh, you can tell that they definitely just watered it. I don't know. It's cute though. Mm -hmm. It's such a simple plant, but I just love it's my nice. my synapsis. I love. I have on my on the main floor of my house. Um, we, this may or may not be up after my house plant tour. So if that's already up, I'll let you know in the comments. But um, I have a lot of my synapsis on my main floor just because they're so easy care. They're so nice to just decorate around the house um, so I love my synapses and they just I don't know they just look nice all the time it's hard for them to not look nice because the leaves are so thick they're showing off oh they're yeah, showing, showing yeah exactly showing off to all our guests mm -hmm. did we go here um well some of the same ones yeah. um this one comes with like a different type of pot Dracenia. I actually don't mind the Dracenia with the variegation. I think it just looks so tropical. Mm -hmm. And for 12 bucks. I have some without the variegation. Yeah. Actually, this was one of the first plants I ever owned. This one, my yeah. one of my friends, um, she lives out in another country now, but, or sorry, another province now, but one of the first plants I was gifted was this one because I think it was at like her wedding shower or something like that, so I took it and I used it as decor in my office. Nice. And I think a snake plant was another one of them or a jacenia like this was another one of them, but. Definitely reminds me of a pineapple. Yeah, the top of a pineapple right. for sure, yeah. Oh, that's a big peperomia there. Mm -hmm. And that one, not too sure how much, but that one's definitely really big. Okay, what else did we miss? I think we got everything. Snake plants. Is this growing in the same pot? Yes. That's so funny. So you get two for the price of one. You get an extra little plant in there. Nice, okay, so I'm still debating on whether or not I should get a plant. Either the one with the basket or the other one, so I have to think about it. Okay, we're gonna huddle and we're going to decide which one I want. So I was just chatting with uh, my friend here because she's also trying to learn a bit about plants, but I have two to choose from, right? And if you're trying to figure out what plant to take home, sometimes it's hard to decide. So there's a few factors to take into consideration. One is how full is it? So obviously there's quite a few vines in here and they're quite long. So we have one that we actually found out that is not actually rooted. So that one has to take some time. Then we have one, two, three, four, five. 
vines and they're actually pretty long i would say yeah the other piece i look for is the new growth so i know for sure that i'll end up cutting this guy off because this leaf is nice i'll end up cutting this as well just in regards to like making it look nice i probably would just cut it but i love how you see this vine here has the most silver so this is really what's drawing me back to this plant it's so so sil silver um, and then also the base of the plant you can kind of see if there's any bugs you want to look underneath the leaves if it's clean or dirty I mean, sometimes it's just dirt but you want to make sure that it's healthy and then i do take it out of the pot to check i mean this one is definitely recently watered so it's dripping like crazy mm -hmm. and maybe a bit too much water you said you check for roots yeah, right so you can see the roots here there's some that are starting to rot so i would definitely put a bit of perlite in this mix just so that it doesn't just sit in uh, wet soil for too long and syndaxis are pretty good with airing more on the underwatering versus the overwatering. So if I don't want any issues with the roots, I would probably do that with the soil. Now this one is one that's obviously smaller, nothing against it, it's super cute. Um, the one leaf that I love the most is this one. Yeah, it's really silver. And I love how it's like almost half and half, which mm -hmm. is super cute. And then the base one is really silver here. But, uh, but I, yeah, I don't know. I just still f feel like I go back to this one just because the vines are a lot longer. Um, it, it looks more full. Um, I think that's the one. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> I haven't bought a plant in so long. And it's only $12. I mean, I'm sure maybe there's some places that this plant is less money, more money. It just really kind of depends where you're looking. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think this one's coming home with me. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I don't know, what, what other tips for new plants, like, I don't know, just depending on what type of look you're going for, if you do want it shorter, if you want it longer, make sure there's no pests, that there's no root rot, especially if you have plants that you compare, you can compare it to. Can you usually see the pests quite visibly in there? I would Did you check say the leaves so, or yeah. the soil? Yeah, I, definitely when it comes to like thrips, when it comes to mealybugs, when it comes to um, really anything, you can definitely be able to see if there's creepy crawlers. Okay. But, uh... Do you find that common when you go to plant stores? Um, sometimes, yeah. Just because, like, if there's a lot of plants together, if they're not maintained, if they're not cleaned, so you may see a bit more pests, but this one looks pretty cute. Nice. I think, I, I think, I think it's, it's a good choice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm happy with that choice. Well, we got a plant. <laughs> yeah, we got the plant. We secured the goods. We secured the goods. I, I did get it. Yeah. And it was actually on sale. So, well, I did say they're 20% off. Or, yeah, 20% off. So it was regular $12 and it was down to nine plus tax. So it worked out. I always feel like, oh, should, should I get a plant? Do I need a plant? Of course I have to walk away with a plant. <laughs> it's not a plant shopping video without me buying a plant, right? So... True. But yeah, so we are just heading out and yeah, I'm excited. A Friday night plant shopping. Love it. What a wild Friday night. <laughs> what, a, what a wild Friday night. <laughs>